What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we are looking at the Acaso Trace One. This is actually a dual dash cam. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you know what? This would be amazing for any kind of an Uber driver or a Lyft driver or just for security reasons or insurance reasons. What I like about this is that not only does it have a front facing camera that faces outside the window, but it has a inward facing camera so you can see the entirety of the cab. Now with dual mode on, you get 1080p at 30 frames per second, but in single mode, which I guess is just the front facing camera, you can go up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. Plus this has night vision, which is fantastic, and we will test that out. Now it does have loop recording. What that does is you have your SD card and it's filling it up. Once it reaches the end, it starts all over and it starts rewriting anything that you haven't actually saved or locked. Um, so that way you never run out of space. There we go, this is like a GoPro. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna be that small. In here we have a uh, little prying tool. Looks like we have, whoa, okay. Haven't seen one of these in a while. We got about a four foot long USB to mini USB. So, it's a little out of date. But uh, okay, no big deal, I guess. I don't think this is like their newest product, but then you have your cigarette lighter adapter and it also comes with a extra USB port on there so you can charge your phone up. Then we have the suction cup. Oh, it's even got a tight down mechanism. Oh, I like that. Oh, look, look at that. Oh yeah, that's strong. It has a little lock on there. So once you tighten it all the way down and it locks in place. These are little cable management uh, clips. It's got a little adhesive 3M tape on the back. And then you've got your quick reference guide. Now the camera itself, oh man, oh and it's really light. It's got a little getting started guide on there, peel off the film, insert format. Uh, it does not come with an SD card. There's one hidden in here. Doesn't look like it. Well that's a bummer, unless there's one in here. There is not, okay, well whatever. Now you've got your IR sensors here for the night vision. You got a 170 degree field of view and 170 degree field of view. You got your controls on the bottom, power button on the side with the microphone and your SD card slot. Then you get your mini USB port on the top. Okay, so you see a light turn on there. Oh, okay, so the four buttons on the bottom, they correspond with the options on the top. So the front facing camera seems to be in color, but the rear one, which is in infrared, seems to be in black and white only. I guess that's not that important to have color and it probably worked best for like the infrared or night vision mode. And go to options, uh, let's see, camera mode. Oh, there we go, you change the resolution. I'll leave it on that because I'd rather have both going. Loop recording, every three minutes of footage, it'll stop and it'll make another uh, cut. And then of course, once it's done, it'll start rewriting over them. So that's that's cool, I like that. Record audio, you can turn that on and off. You got your date stamp and then you got your G sensor. Now the G sensor is basically for shock. Depending on the level of sensitivity you have it set at, it should detect that big jostle that would be a wreck and it should automatically start locking that file. But uh, I like the size of it, nice and small. Well, let's go, uh, let's go plug this in and let's go for a ride. Let's do this. All right, so we're in the car and I have it set up uh, very simply, actually. Um, I just have it hanging right now because we have another one in here that is already wired. But uh, for now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just leaving it hanging. You get your forward cam, it's in color, and then you get the reverse cam. Hello. We're gonna just drive around a little bit and see how this looks. From the display, although it's small, it looks pretty clean from my view. Of course, I'm not gonna know until I edit the video, all right, here's a license plate test. Can we see it? Oh yeah. I mean, I can't hardly tell because this screen is so small, but from what I do see, it actually looks pretty good. This little thing isn't bad. What I really like is this front facing camera. Honestly, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, this is perfect for Uber drivers or Lyft drivers or something. Oh, it's starting to rain. It would be really nice to have the addition of an extended camera, um, like the current one that I have set up. I reviewed this one a while back. My girl's been using it ever since, and it's fantastic. It's got a big fat screen, but it has a camera. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's in the back window. So you can get out the front window and the back window. Now it doesn't do anything in the cab, but that would be a really cool addition to this, to be able to have that that uh, rear camera. All right, well, I'm not gonna drive around until nighttime, so we're gonna go park in the garage to check out this night vision. 
so let's get back to the house all right so it is completely pitch black in here we're in my garage um, as you can see the front facing camera not so good in pitch black it doesn't have infrared but the inside camera you're pretty much covered you've got you can record what's going on uh, you can see me clearly actually so here's what it looks like hold on okay so right now this is the exact same shot with my phone um, <laughs> and I don't see anything on the screen so it's completely pitch black in here usually this unit is 130 bucks but they've got a Black Friday deal going on right now so it's hundred dollars I would say it's pretty worth it it's a pretty small package it's a very simple one plug you got a very reliable suction cup you stick it on your window and you're good to go again the only thing that I would I would say I would like to add to this is the ability or the addition of a rear camera um, like the unit that I mentioned earlier uh, I, I'll leave a link down below for this if you're interested in this. This thing is great. It's got a huge screen. It's touch. It's very nice. I don't know if they have any deals going on right now, but uh, definitely worth checking out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave links down in the description below as usual. I leave it in your hands, but as for now, get out of here. Just automatically turns on. Whoa. Please insert SD card. Well, I don't have one because you didn't give me one. So we can change. Oh, okay. So you can do the picture. I know that. Can we do color? No, that's color. Stop telling me about the card. You okay back here? There you go. Just sit up in your seat, buddy. Go speed racer, go! Skirt mm. You know your car is not very powerful when you're driving and making the sounds. You get the children's at play. Will you sit? You need to sit in your seat. Due to copyright issues with uh, music, I am creating my own soundtrack. <laughs> where did you even go? Come back. I don't even know where you are now. That's it. You're dead to me.